You know, it's good to be a transplant in Louisville. You get to know a lot of secrets about Louisvillians that they won't tell each other, but they'll tell somebody else. So some of my best messages is when I said something that somebody didn't agree with, they had a favorite statement. They'd always tell me, well, you know you ain't from here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I thought, well, <laughs> being, being a country... Being a country boy, you know, it really didn't hurt my feelings, but it was just unique because sometimes we were discussing some real important subjects, and when all else failed from somewhere in the back of the room or whatever else, somebody would always interject and say, well, you need to go on somewhere. What? You know, you ain't from here. And that would always make me laugh, and I thought, I said, well, if I get out of here in one piece, I must have won something because that's a real heck of a statement to make to somebody. We are super proud of our Tuskegee Airmen. And I've had some, the pleasure of having some people tell me, they said, well, you know, I really didn't know that there was any of them guys right here in town. And I said, well, you know, you more likely slept through class or something, so I'm not going to get upset with you because I think you'd almost have to have slept through class to be a native Louisvillian and not know and understand the impact that the Tuskegee Airmen had on our whole international history. And to have these gentlemen right here as a part of our community is a great, great treasure. So I'd like to ask the brain thrust and, and the walk on water leadership of the Tuskegee Airmen Ron Spriggs, if you'd come up here, my brother. You're a tough act to follow, sir. Uh, I am the president of the uh, Noel Parish chapter of Tuskegee Airmen. In case you didn't know it, Noel Parish was white. In case you didn't know it, Noel Parish was born in Kentucky. And he made it possible for a lot of the Tuskegee Airmen to succeed where his predecessor was out to hold them all back. And um, this isn't my day. This is, a, this is my two brothers over here. This is their day. I had my day last year where I was presented the Image Award. And I am tremendously pleased to introduce my Uncle Frank and my uncle Alvin LaRue. Uncle LaRue, in case you didn't know it, was a bomber pilot, navigator, excuse me, navigator and bombardier. A lot of people don't know, Tuskegee Airmen flew and were trained in the B-25. Right outside the city limits, a little, little place called, what was that field, Uncle Frank? Huh? Godman Field. And Uncle Frank was a crew chief. He was also a hangar chief and he did his service down in uh, Tuskegee. But he is nonetheless, those that served in the 332nd from 1941 to 1949 in the black unit, aviation unit, are considered Tuskegee Airmen. And oh, did I not mention there were women? Mechanics, riggers, we don't call them air women, they were called airmen. And some of them were also white. So you see everybody in this room if we were assigned to the 332nd Fighter Group, it could have been called Tuskegee Airmen. So one of these days, you'll have me come back up here, and I'll give you all a presentation about the history of Kentucky Tuskegee Airmen. And um, one last thing I'll say is we were very proud to have finished a tour at the Muhammad Ali Museum, featuring some artifacts about their history and what have you. But uh, Brother Shedrick, without further ado, I appreciate this opportunity to present my favorite uncles up here. So, you going to bring them on? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> the first one goes to my flight officer uncle. Flight officer Alvin LaRue, Red Tail, Tuskegee Airmen.
Now, I will call Uncle Frank the Energizer Bunny because he is always on the move. And any time that I go out to do a public presentation, if I don't see any other face in the crowd, I'm going to see Uncle Frank there. And for that, I want to thank him for that, the support he's given the, the Kentucky Tuskegee Airmen Organization but for his service to America. Frank, Good evening, give him, I'm at the right phone. Give him God glory and honor. I, I, I was honored to be part of, I was honored to be part of the Tuskegee Airmen. It was a strange thing with this. They drafted me, they said we was going in to be a paratrooper. I was out about to go AWOL the first day I was a drafted. <laughs> but they, this, they sent us Tuskegee and they trained us well, and we did a good job. Thank you.